Welcome to you on this most pleasantly clear evening. Conditions absolutely beautiful. Perfect for the beautiful game. Temperatures are kind as well. No doubt playing a hand in high attendance levels as well as an elevated level of anticipation here. Surely this is the hot ticket going around in this neck of the woods. It surely must be. This one of the great amphitheatres of the game. You are welcome to it and indeed to one of the grandest fixtures. And so, the national anthems. This is the lineup we've been given. How do you read it, Jim? Well, the modern version of that is a lot more fluid and flexible than in bygone times. There is a much greater understanding of the need for players to cover forward running and it enables risk-taking while the gaps are filled. I'm, I'm very much a fan of it. There are a lot of people who seem to have kind of ignored it and just put it to bed, but it still works. It's still valid. And I think we're going to see it be successful here. If you did just miss it, we are up and running already. Who do you think this turns on, Jim? Yeah, Aidan Dzeko. He's a real handful up front, Peter, and not just because of his height and that physical presence. He's got excellent awareness and, and technique, and that allows him to bring others into the game. He's a very powerful finisher, too, so he'll be giving the... Has a pop! Decent strike, kept it fizzing low. I actually like to see that in shots at goal when there's a, a noticeable effort to get over the ball and, and keep it down. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. That's just very well played. He can't hurt you with his back to goal, and he didn't go for the back heel. The Lassinac. There's no flag. Looking for a decent ball in. Plays it out to the wing. Pjanic. Well read, he sorted that out. Hoists it forward. Out to the left it goes. That is terrific skill. That intervention was very necessary. Bosnia have made it clear what they're trying to do for me, Peter. What are they trying to do? Well, I think they're making the pitch as big as possible to work both flanks into, into better supply routes. And it's played forward. Well played, he saw that coming. Vesic did well to emerge with the ball. That's a contest to keep an eye on. Pjanic Pjanic Forward it goes And 
Boris Kolasinac. Pjanic, back into the middle. A oh, well played, he's taken that really cleanly. And it's half time here. So now the team has broken through, but certainly not for the want of trying. It's been an interesting game up to now, but still goals. Some first half thoughts? Yeah, the scoreline doesn't tell the whole story as one side has been significantly better, at least offensively. No goals at this stage, but certainly not devoid of action. It is nil-nil here at half-time. And the action is back on the way. Finland playing well with lots of opportunities and plenty positives to take from the first half. Despite this scoreline, converting chances would make a world of difference for them. Played into the mid, in with a header! Oh, he couldn't get the direction he needed. Oh, that's a real disappointment as well, after he worked so hard to just get into position and get on the end of that in the first place. A lot of effort for very little reward. to reflect upon in terms of goals here it is nil nil a really good feat Besic there are a few chances to talk of Jim defence is it seems on top here yeah, I think it's a scoreline in keeping with what we've seen up to this point. Combined attempts at goal aren't high in numbers and we could do with something to spark this contest into life. A chance to play it in. Turns and goes back. And here's big chance! Decent enough try. A more than decent attempt, Peter. Finland cannot afford to waste this if they want to avoid extra time. Kolasinac. Pjanic battles to win it back. Besic. Well, they're supposed to be chasing a goal, and yet there's no urgency or sense of awareness. They've got to wake up. Across the field it goes. He's got options out wide. That'll be a throw-in. Nothing between them in 90 minutes, and we are in for extra time. Yeah, neither side has anything to show for some splendid effort, and they certainly aren't showing any signs of easing off, so we remain optimistic. So a brief breather, and then extra time. To extra time we go. Yes, 
Kovacic. Plays it out to the flank. And here's Dzeko. It's a good foot in there. Looks to clip it forward. So who's he picking out? Ball's loose. Who's getting there? Finland. Look. Half time, extra time. And it is starting to feel as though there is an inevitability about penalties here. I think that both teams still want to win it in the final 15 minutes. The question is, can the players go that far? So the last chance to find a winner. So for the last time, who dares to win? Has he found his man? Well, they've got one eye on the clock, but the balancing act is very fine at this stage. Go for it, and it could backfire. Sit back, and it may be at a price. And helps available out wide. Well, both sides might have to settle for a draw here, although there's still a chance for one last fling. There's the whistle, and it is going to penalties. Yeah, maybe most were not expecting this to go the distance, Peter, but we can't complain about the graft and energy on show. I think the scoreline wasn't from the one to trying, and, and now it's lottery time. So after two long hours, it comes down to nerve, to technique under pressure, to penalties. Boy, you can feel the tension. It 
is so important to score the first one. And he's found the net. He was always looking good there. Nice penalty. And stepping up, the skipper. Oh, what a save! I think the keeper's done really well to save that. He deserves a pat on the back from his teammates. Good penalty, just steered it the other way. And that doubles their lead. Bosnia and Herzegovina trailing by two now. Well, it's never easy to step up and take a penalty, but he slotted that home with authority. Finland with the chance to go two up. That's a good penalty. And the lead is two. Bosnia and Herzegovina can't afford to miss another one. That's a lovely stop from the keeper, he's done his teammates proud with that one. A huge spot kick here. Oh, he saved it! Well, that's great concentration from the keeper and a wonderful save. Bosnia and Herzegovina must score to keep their hopes alive. Oh, nerveless! How confident was that? Backed himself all the way. So he walks up to the spot and puts the ball down. So can he do it? Brilliant, he had to save it and he did. Well, that's a super save from the keeper. Bosnia and Herzegovina have to score or they have had it. And scores to keep them alive. It is sudden death from here on. One miss could lose it. Oh, he saved it! He was so focused there. Fantastic save. So, the first one in sudden death. A huge responsibility. And that has lifted the roof! So after a gruelling game that went all the way, the winner is decided on penalties. It is a horrible way to lose, and they are heartbroken. Oh, this is so tough on the penalty taker as the heroes celebrate. Right now, it's a horrible experience, but they really should try and get those chins up. My thanks to Jim. We both wish you a very good evening.